Frogman Friday. Yeah, boy. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Frogman Friday. I'm your host, Ryan Birdman Parrot. Today, our warrior guest is Duke Harbin. Code names include Duck of Death, Sunshine, and Doc. He served nine years as a Navy SEAL, exiting service as a Petty Officer First Class. He's the original president of Navy SEALs Fund, located in the USA, that was established in 2009. You can follow Duke on Facebook at Duke Harbin. Handles to follow after the show. To learn more about Navy SEALs Fund, go check out NavySEALsFund.org. Brother, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Bird. Good to see yeah. you, brother. You too, man. So let's dig right in. Tell us about Navy SEALs Fund. Tell us, you were elected to be the first president. You're a team guy, so just kind of walk us through the process of starting the organization up and uh, what you do. Navy SEALs Fund was originally started by uh, Drago, a team guy, and his wife, Rachel. Um, they had been established for, I don't know, not very long, a few months, and then Extortion, extortion 17 happened. Um, I had some guys, some really uh, kind of wealthy guys that wanted to help out the community, and they said, hey, you need to get involved, you need to do something, and truthfully, I didn't know anything about the nonprofit world or how any of that worked. This was, you know, 10 years ago. Um, and I started talking to Drago about the Navy SEAL fund and those guys helped me raise a bunch of money for the extortion 17 families. And Drago asked me to be the president and the rest was history for about four years after that. Um, we just started growing exponentially, helping out tons of families. It was kind of in the you know, in the, in the worst time at that point for our community, as far as deaths, suicides, PTSD, brain injuries, um, nobody knew what was going on. It was just kind of felt like the wild west. We were losing guys every month. Um, and I just, just started getting super involved with helping out the families and, um, the fund has grown to, uh, we've had some seven figure years, you know, when Drago and I first had our, our initial meeting in a, in a cafe, I think we had 238 bucks in our operating budget and uh, now we're, we're doing pretty well. So when starting out this organization, being the president, um, you had an original mission set and have from that mission set, have you evolved into a new mission or are you pretty much on the same mission and what is that mission? I think our mission has always been um, from day one, just to be a grassroots organization that that uh, that helps out our community and the families in their you know in their worst time. Um, we've evolved in the sense that we've branched out into treating guys with PTSD and or PTS and TBIs, um, helping those guys get the treatment that they need, which is completely separate from what the VA is doing, um, whether it be alternative medicine or hypnosis, ibogaine, whatever, whatever modality those guys think is best for them. Um, that's become a big part of our mission. Um, along with, uh, what we call QRF, we stole that acronym from the teams, uh, quick reactionary funding. We're able to, to get in contact with whoever needs help or they get in contact with us. We vet their cause. We vet them. Um, and sometimes we're able to turn around within one to two days when these people have, you know, really tragic things happen to them. Whereas if they're going to bigger nonprofits, there's a ton of red tape that needs to be cut through. And those nonprofits, they definitely help down the line. But I think uh, when these tragedies happen, the families feel like there's no hope and, and uh, no end in sight. And we kind of try and bridge that gap and and uh, make that these experiences a little bit less traumatic for them. So the Navy SEALs Fund is not just for Navy SEALs, active duty and, and veteran, but it's also for their families as well? Absolutely. Um, I would say we help just as many Gold Star families as we do team guys. And we help all generations of team guys, whether you're the last UD tier to a guy that just got his bird in SQT last week, we help all those guys. Um, and I believe we're the only nonprofit that does that. 
team guy specific nonprofit that does that. That's awesome. And you're unique too, as an organization, um, because there's no staff, is that right? No paid staff. Um, if you spend, or if you donate $1, 99.4% of that goes to either gold star families or, or team guys that, that need that help. Um, we don't spend a ton of money on advertising or galas or marketing, any of that stuff, just because we feel like, like I said, we are grassroots um, and we feel like we can do the most benefit with just using that money and, and putting it straight to the, straight to the cost. That is awesome. Tell us a little bit about the composition of your board. Board is 100% team guys, um, ranging from classes, like class 60, I think is our youngest team guy to about 230. So pretty, pretty broad range of, of experience there and, uh, and perspective, which is really good when we're making decisions as a whole. Um, like I said, Drago's wife, Rachel is our CEO and she probably deserves most of the credit. I mean, talk about someone that does the lion's share for, uh, for nothing. I mean, she gets a lot out of it, but she's not, she's doing it all for free and all, all out of altruistic, just uh, goodness. Yeah, pretty- I hear that, brother. I'll tell you what, I mean, I, I think that, you know, definitely team guys know what they need, but I think the wives even might know more about what they need, especially after that incident of, you know, accident, whatever it may be. Yeah, they definitely, um, yeah, after the wives see what's going on, it, it seems like they have a better field of vision. It's it, a lot, a lot of clarity there. Whereas we can get focused in on one thing, they can see the big picture. So it's good to have, it's good to have her on there. She's, she's amazing. Yeah, for sure. We'll give a quick shout out to Rachel because she is stellar and even more so she's a Michigander like me. So she is totally badass. We love her to death. And you know, it's just awesome to have her, Drago, you, and all the brothers that are putting the effort into doing the QRF for everybody, because it is a big thing, a topic that I definitely want to talk about real quick is, you know, being a charity myself, you absolutely have to vet where your money is going to go. And there's something specific. I know we talked about before where you don't give money to the particular individual. It might be a case by case basis, but you typically try to pay third party or you do pay third party so that you know exactly the money's going to where it needs to go and it's not being blown somewhere that it's actually affecting what needs to affect. Um, so that's a great thing. Um, but there's just so many charities out there that have built this, the, what you say, red tape. They've put all these you know, checks and balances and policies in place where it's like, oh my gosh, at what point are we going to make a decision to pull the trigger on helping? And that's what I love about you guys is that you just get right in there and you're like, all right, what's the problem? What's the need? Let's go sit down real quick and talk. Everybody can do that off Zoom at any point in time. And then yeah. you go action it. I love that. Yeah, it's really important to us. We, um, we thought about We've thought about spending that money on marketing and, and growth and galas and, and things that the bigger corporations are doing. But at the end of the day, I said corporations, nonprofits, but you know, that was a Freudian slip. Like a lot of these nonprofits turn into corporations and it becomes, unfortunately it becomes about the bottom line. And for us, the bottom line is not to have anything, to give it all away to, to the needy. Like, um, we're not, we're not getting 401ks or any kind of fringe benefits from this. Um, and when that starts to happen and you've got CEOs making quarter million dollars a year to run a nonprofit, things just go off the rails. And like I said, we want to keep it grassroots. We definitely have no problem with growing and expanding because that just means we can help more people, but we're going to do it on our own terms. Um, and we're never going to turn into a corporation. We're just going to be like I said, we're just going to do this strictly, strictly for altruistic reasons and for the brotherhood because it has to be done. So how can people help? Um, you can get on our website. Uh, everyone's free to donate. Right now we're doing an initial, uh, our initial t-shirt run, which I'm wearing right now. It's, uh, this is our Navy SEALs fun bone frog logo with, with our motto on the back, high quality, um, Super, super nice t-shirt. 
you can get on there, you can buy one of those. Um, and that just helps get the word out. I think the more people that's, that are wearing this stuff and the more people that know about the fund, um, that's only gonna help us. So check out the website, um, buy a t-shirt, donate. That's pretty much all people can do. Okay, do you have any possibilities for volunteerism in the future? Um, we do when we, before, before COVID, we had golf tournaments, poker tournaments. Um, we were doing Frogman, uh, 5K run, rocks. When, when all that stuff starts to get back together, when people can, can go in public without any, uh, any problems, then yeah, we'll definitely have um, opportunities for volunteers. And all anybody needs to do is just get on our website and contract Rachel directly, and she'll tell you what to do. But we can always use the help. Right on, brother. Well, I'll tell you what, for anybody listening right now, um, obviously donations are so key right now with COVID. Everybody's been affected, um, but people have been pretty giving through COVID, which has been awesome. It's been exceptional to see America come together and really support on the financial side for charities. So you have every possibility to go to NavySealsFund.org and donate. You have options to go buy their swag. Their swag is awesome. It's next level. And I say next level. It might not actually be the company called next level, but the actual swag is next level stuff. It feels good. It's a cool logo. It supports a great cause. Um, and if you're interested in hosting an event in your area, because you want to do something good and you want to try something new, Navy SEALs Fund is always looking for you know, programs where they can be a beneficiary of, or they can come out and be a part of something to help them generate not only revenue, but awareness, because awareness is so key. Um, it really does help down the line um, and they need to be more known. So everybody who's listening, go check out NavySealsFund.org. Go pick up some swag, make a donation if you can. We're super grateful for it. It's gonna help the brotherhood and their families. And Duke, I really appreciate you uh, being the first leader at the charge for this thing. And uh, you know, since 2009, still sticking with it and uh, representing the cause. It's my pleasure, brother. It's, uh, it's one of the most important things we're doing right now. And, um, you know, we've had a lot of family members and a lot of team guys reach out and say they, uh, they absolutely don't know where they would be or what they'd be doing without our help. Um, and if people get on and, and they donate to that, hopefully they know that it's going to that cause and it's, and it's a worthy one. Amen to that, brother. I well, appreciate you being on, bro. We'll be in touch soon. I know Duke's off to probably go hit some waves and surf somewhere around the world. What you don't know about Duke is after getting out of the teams, he became a firefighter. He's active duty firefighter right now in California. So it continues to pave the way and serve our country in a different uniform, which is still high intensity and super cool. So we love you. Appreciate what you do. Go check out NavySealsFund.org. Make, uh, make a donation support. Thanks for having me on, brother. I appreciate it. Get on there. Donate.